In Creo Parametric, you can perform a multi-objective design study, but you can only graph your design goal against one of your variables. If you have two variables, you can take your data over into MathCAD in order to create a 3D plot of your response surface. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a part model in another video. I created a multi-objective design study. Let me retrieve it. And then we will take a look at the setup. And in this particular case, I have two different design variables and my design goal. I'm going to cancel out of here. If you go to the tools drop down menu, you can graph the study, but this is just going to be a 2D plot. So for example, I will graph the length on the X axis and the height on the Y axis. And here I have my 2D plot, but let's say I wanted to see both the length and the angle. Well, I'm going to export my data and then modify it in Excel and then bring it into MathCAD. So let's take a look at the data in the study. If I go to the table drop down menu, I can choose show data. And here we have our information. And so here we have the height, the length and the angle. And there's some header information. From the file menu, I can choose save as, and I'm going to save this to a file. I'll just accept the default file name and click the OK button. And now I will close out of here. Next, let's jump over to Windows Explorer for a moment. Okay, here is the folder where I saved the data. I'm just going to change the file extension in here. Let me select on it. And I'm going to get rid of the dot one and the dot INF. I don't know. I guess that's short for information. Let's change it to CSV. And now I will say yes to changing the file name. And now let's jump over into Excel so that I can then modify the data for import into MathCAD. All right. In Excel, I will go to the data tab and then I will choose to get data and this will be from text and I will navigate to that particular folder. All right, here is the CSV file. Let's choose the import button and here we have the import wizard and let's see, this is going to be delimited. Let me hit the next button and I'll do commas and spaces so that we get the right information and then next we'll bring this all in as general. Click the finish button and I'll put it right in the upper left hand cell. First thing I'm going to do, let's get rid of the header information. Actually, before I do that, take a look. We have the height. I want this actually to be the third column since that is what will be plotted on the Z axis. But again, let's get rid of the header information and let's get rid of the first column. Don't need that. And now I will select the second column. Let's cut this and then paste it, get rid of the first column again. So I'm just making it so that I've got X data and Y data and then Z data. This is the height. So this is good. This is what I want for my Excel file to read into MathCAD. Hey, let's go ahead and save this. All right, so now it is saved in an Excel file called Mods Surface. Now let's jump over to MathCAD. And I am in a new worksheet. Let's create a variable name. I'm just going to call it data. And this is going to be equal to, and now I will go to input output. Let's read in the Excel file. I will click on the browse button and let me navigate to where it's located. All right, this is the Excel file. Let's choose the open button. I'm just going to bring in all this information. Let's click on the insert button. And now I have my Excel data in here. Let's scroll down a little bit and I will go to the plots tab and let's insert a plot, 3D plot. And then in the lower corner here, I will enter in the name of my variable. It's called data and the graph is plotted. Let's click on it. Let's make it a little bit wider. And now I can rotate around so I can see how my height, oops, let me zoom in over here. 
uh, see the actual shape of my response surface. So in this particular situation on this axis, I have my length dimension. On this axis, I have my angle dimension. And we can see how the height design parameter changes as those two different variables change. So this is indeed my response surface. So that's how you can bring in your multi-objective design study data into MathCAD in order to create a 3D plot that shows you your response surface.